I really enjoyed it. I thought um, I'd never seen anything like this, so it was really nice to have the actual citizens come in instead of the other people that make the decisions. You know, they make their decisions on their own, and you know, sometimes I don't think there's enough input. And so when I heard about this, I wanted to stop in and see what it was all about. Uh, and so, uh, what are some of the key priorities for you? What are some of the things that you would like uh, council members to consider when they're putting together next year's budget? One of the things that I want them to continue doing is the Green Alley project that they've been doing, um, the neighborhood beautification, because I really believe if they can do some more um, low uh, interest loans for some of the lower income areas so that renters can possibly buy, um, because I believe that um, people that own their homes take more pride in them. And I think that with our tourism in Dubuque and things like that, that it's really important to keep our neighborhoods looking nice and it keeps them safer because if people take pride in their homes, they want to protect them more and things like that, um, they're going to stop a lot of things that come out in their neighborhoods. So the lighting initiative projects, um, you know, plants, uh, trees, things that people can maybe get matching funds from the city for. Like I put this much in to maybe, especially if they're lower income, that would be really nice to see. And I think it was great to have the city staff present uh, and be able to allow citizens an opportunity to share their thoughts and ideas on what they felt was important for the city to be focused on when it came to the next fiscal budget planning year. Okay. And uh, how did you feel about uh, the turnout tonight? Uh, well, obviously would have loved to have seen more than eight citizens here. Um, I know it's kind of a rainy, kind of dreary day out there today, but at the same time, you know, I would love to see a little expansion uh, with location because I think if they did have another one at Prescott, you know, they may have already had citizens attend that previously, or maybe they didn't feel they needed to come today as well. Uh, so I'd love to see this expanded to, you know, maybe like a Tri-State Blind Society, just other locales within the city to allow a broader uh, spectrum uh, and a broader input from the citizens. So that way, you know, you're going to find out what's important not only maybe within the downtown area, but you're going to hear what's important to the citizens that live around the city as well.